Hello everyone, so back with another video here. So on uh, this project, um, I wanna set up a cart for my oxy acetylene setup. Uh, as you can see, I have three acetylene tanks. Uh, these are hooked, hooked up together uh, with a, a manifold that I had, that I had purchased, uh, it's professionally built. And of course, you know, there's uh, the, the oxygen tank. And you know, just, I wanna make some space, you know, be able to clean up uh, you know, around the garage easier. So uh, I need to get this thing uh, on a cart with some wheels on it. As you can see, I already put my lathe on on, uh, on casters as well. So here's we here are the parts we have. We have some one inch square tubing, about ninety thousandths, maybe even a hundred thousandths thick, give or take. It's a little bit less than an eighth of an inch. So these eight pieces are going to be the square bases, and of course there's some uh, some uprights and some you know, some handlebars there going up on top, and uh, there's going to be some uh, diagonals uh, going from corner to corner. It's a solid round bar. Uh, pipe for the, the handles uh, some sleeves for the for the round bar even though they didn't do too much but nonetheless it's there okay so this is the machine I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my HTP uh, my new inverter stick welder this is the Inver Arc uh, 160 plus uh, dual voltage so it runs on uh, 240 or 120 uh, so here's a stinger uh, a, looks like a Twico style uh, stinger uh, 15 foot uh, 4 gauge flexiprene cable it's nice and flexible that's 15 feet long pretty good uh, pretty standard uh, work clamp 400 amp rated good strong spring uh, 10 foot lead on this again 4 gauge flexiprene cable uh, comes with a shoulder strap then you have your, your main power cord so it comes uh, built in with a 650 uh, plug uh, this is uh, either 10 or 12 gauge I can't remember it's probably 10 because it's rated up to uh, 30 amps of input power and it's uh, it's pretty flexible so here's the back of the machine you have your on off switch uh, it's got a really big fan on it that draws air, air in through the front and uh, exhaust uh, out the back and again it'll run on uh, 120 or 240 and here you have the front so it's a it's meant with a uh, simplicity in mind you have your amperage control uh, there's a switch for you know, using lift R TIG or just and straight up stick welding and standard uh, dense connectors so it's a really cool machine um, here we we see the uh, rods I'm going to use these are Messer ADT AC plus rods these are 1 8 inch I get these from HTP they're uh, they're a real nice running uh, you know maintenance rod here's the machine powered on so right now it's on, uh, it's on 120 volts and um, I set it to arc which is you know, stick welding and as you can see, it, this machine will go up to, well, it'll go down to about 7 amps or so, give or take. And it'll top out at 127 on a 120 circuit. Put it on 240, it'll go up to up to 160. All right, so um, I'm going to set this to about about 95 amps, give or take. So it's a, on the low end of that 1 8 rod, but it still runs pretty decent. It'll, you can go down to about 90 at the absolute lowest, but it runs good. So strikes up nice and easy. Here I'm attacking the corners up. Flip it around and give, just give it some more tacks on, on the corners. Get everything nice and nice and steady. Here I'm switching up. I already have a, the bases already tacked up and the uprights. Again, these strictly tacking not welding anything you know I, and one of the things you know it's real easy to get carried away start welding everything up and it's gonna shift on you so just tacking everything up again just uh, doing the corners on the inside flip it around and just continue tacking here and there definitely want to wait on on welding anything out because I know it's gonna it's gonna shift on me it's gonna distort the last thing I want. Uh, I'm putting there uh, the bottom support structure, which is just a, uh, you know, two tubes going across from one side to the other, you know, uh, just equidistant from from each side and you know, spaced out, and then just like some other little square tubes going the other way to make make like a little like a little three by three grid. And I'm just again just tacking uh, tacking up the corners. Uh, one of the reasons I actually picked using the the one eighth. Uh, rod instead of a, a 332nd is um, if there's any gaps uh, I prefer to sometimes use a 1 8 rod and run it on the low end because that way 
it's easier to deposit you know a little extra uh, weld material and still not run too hot okay so as you can see uh, again just tacked up uh, just to make sure everything stays pretty square uh, that way I can give it a I want to give it a test run uh, just to make sure you know before I weld anything out that you know it's gonna it's gonna fit pretty good here I'm fitting up some diagonals uh, they were meant to go corner to corner but I mean I cut the 45 degree miters a little bit uh, wider than than normal uh, just to make sure I have enough wiggle room so uh, these diagonals they ended up going almost corner to corner I shifted them just a little bit so here you can see um, it came out just right there's just enough wiggle room to vertically uh, drop the tanks in you know there's maybe like an maybe like an eighth on each side give or take just depending on you know which ones are shift or whatever but it's pretty much a perfect fit there's not a lot of wiggle on there so now, now that I know that that's gonna fit up you know I can go and take them out and uh, uh, tack weld the uh, the tubes that end up uh, making the, the handlebars so again just tack everything up keep it square with the magnets Again, small tacks uh, here I'm welding out one of the joints and again running about about 95 amps on uh, these Messer ADT, ADT AC plus rods they're just a good general purpose uh, you know repair maintenance rod uh, they're fast freeze kinda like a 6011 but they run nice and smooth kinda like a 7018 oh, and then the slag just just comes right off I don't even know why I use the hammer I could have just used the, the pack of my glove just comes right off doesn't always peel but as you can see uh, you can just like literally just wipe it off with the back of your glove or whatever uh, just kind of chipping off a uh, little corners there but yeah uh, you get a nice clean bead you know welds right over you know rust and mill scale just like you know most any other rod will anyways so but yeah here's a uh, here's another arc shot went across one uh, tube and kind of zipped over along one of the one of those diagonals that was right next to it and again just gonna chip off the uh the slag it comes right off piece of cake a little cold right there but then that's when I kind of jumped off to the side so uh so pretty much so there you have it you know uh that little stick welder nice and Nice and convenient, that's for sure. All right, thanks for watching the video, guys.